you guys so today I'm gonna to be showing you a tutorial on how to do this video effect where you kind of have like three different clips in one frame I guess I saw it in a Taylor Cut Films video and someone commented asking how he did it so I kind of just wanted to show you guys how I would edit it and like yeah it's kind of like a simple technique okay so I have three clips right here and I'm gonna try to blend all these things together so I'm just going to drag my first clip up to the third layer line. And then I'm just going to drag my second clip under it so that my first clip overlaps the second clip. And then I'm going to go to Effects and search up Luma Key. And let's put that on our top clip. So now you can see that our top clip is like kind of messed up. The full clip isn't there. It's kind of faded. So I'm just going to cut this to where I want the transition to start. And then I'm going to go to that first part of it and delete the Luma Key transition from the first one. And then I'm going to drag my other clip at night a little bit further down so that my first half of the clip still overlaps that clip. Okay, I'm going to go to the opacity for my first clip. I'm going to press the keyframe button for the opacity and then go to the end of the clip and then drag it to like 57 so it's blending out into the luma key transition okay i'm just gonna drag my second clip a bit out because i want this effect sort of thing to last a little bit longer so i'm gonna drag it out and i'm just gonna change the speed a bit slower so there's not a lot of movement in the clip and you can't really tell because the luma key is on it so i'm just changing it to 60 percent Okay, now I'm going to go to the second half of my first clip, and I'm just going to go to the Luma key part, and at the beginning of the clip, I'm going to press the keyframe button, and then go a bit forward, and then I'm just going to change the percent down to 38%, because I like to see that MGM Grand sign. The building is kind of fully keyed out, which I like. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a mask to take away that top part of the sky. So on the second part of my first clip, I'm just going to use the pen tool and create a little mask so that the sky isn't showing. Okay, so now here is the whole effect going on. It's kind of... It starts from the first clip, which is basically just an original clip, but then they, in the end, the opacity fades out. And then in my second part, it has like a mask so you can't see the sky okay I'm just gonna go to the second part of my first clip and I'm just gonna adjust the keyframes to go a little bit faster so I'm gonna drag that second keyframe forward so that the transition fades a little bit better so now it's fading from the green to just the sign a lot faster okay now I want the sign to fade even more out uh, towards the ending so, for the opacity, I'm going to press the keyframe button in the middle-ish and then go a bit forward and then I'm just going to change the opacity down to 11%. So now if we watch it back, the thing blends out and then it blends even more out. Okay, now I'm going to move on to my last clip. So I'm just going to drag it to the second line and then drag it so that it overlaps the clip before that. Okay, I'm just going to adjust the top clip's speed to 40% instead because I want that clip to last a little bit longer. Okay, so I'm just going to adjust the last clip and cut it to where I want to cut it. So I just want these big buildings showing. So I'm going to go to effects and put Luma Key on that clip as well. So it starts out a lot faded out. So I want there to be a transition to blend into that. So I'm going to go a little bit forward after the clip starts and press the keyframe button for cutoff. And then we'll go back to the beginning and change that number to 100%. So now it blends and transitions into that building clip. I'm being a bit or disorganized right now, but I want to go to that top clip again. And I'm just going to change the opacity to 0 to blend out to zero so that the whole clip disappears once my last clip is starting to appear. So basically that very first clip that showed up finally fades out and then my last clip is kind of showing up. So I'm going to cut the clip like how we did that for the first clip and then I'm going to go to the second part of the clip and I'm just going to delete the luma key. So now the full clip appears and then I'm going to go to opacity. And for the opacity, I'm just going to start at 
and then go a bit forward and then make it 100%. So now it blends in because we deleted the luma key from this clip so that it blend in from the first part of the clip. So yeah, that's kind of the full effect. You can see like three different clips in one uh, little scene. And I like the look of it. It's really cool. And then after you add some color grading and everything, it looks really sick. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry if it's a bit confusing. Um, I just wanted to show you guys a way you can add like a cool little uh, effect in your clips. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe for more videos and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.